Here are some helpful suggestions when using the FET circuit construction kit. When I go to the FET website, I'll click on the circuit construction kit. It brings it up and then I want to select lab. So I click on it once and then I click again and this field opens up. This um, field lets us drag in dry cells or batteries. We can connect them together, more than one, but we can also click on them and with the slider down here we can change the voltage of each battery or use the arrows to go up or down 0.1 volts at a time. Uh, the wire that we click and drag over is stretchable but it doesn't bend so if we need to go back down we can go down again. I can throw in a switch and rotate that to open and close the switch all I do is click on the switch. Then I can add another wire and I can add more wire and then I can put in resistors. Now the resistors can have whatever value we want to give them. So if I click on the resistor, I can change its resistance, go all the way up to 120 ohms. These sliders go up or down 0.1 ohms at a time. I can add in more resistors. I can add in light bulbs we want to. If I click on the light bulb, I can also change its resistance. So if I, if I keep my finger on the mouse, the, the uh, connections kind of let go. But if I let go of my mouse, it's now connected. And so if I want to disconnect, I can clip on it, click on it, and then hit the scissors to disconnect it. So that way, anytime you need to um, change a wire or a setting, move something around, you can click and delete. You can also hit the trash to get rid of it if you want to totally delete it. So if I close the switch, this shows me current flowing and I can use a voltmeter to drag over here. The wires are stretchable and I can put it on either side of the battery. So it says that this battery on the left is 9 volts and the one on the right is 23.4 and together they give me 32.4. I can measure the voltage across my resistor. It says it's 14.02 volts. If I switch the connections, it gives me negative 14.02 volts. So that's realistic, just like the meters that you used in our previous labs. If you switch, reverse the way they're connected, you get a negative voltage. If I click over here on this box that says values, it'll give me the voltage or the resistance of every element in there. Now, to measure current, we have this real handy holdover ammeter. So I can put it right there and I get 1.84 amps. If I put it here, it's 1.4. Right here is 0.44. If I put it over the resistor, I can see what it is through that resistor, through this other one. If you want to um, take the voltmeter off of your uh, screen, you have to just drag it back over to the box, let go of your mouse, and it's back in. We can also put in an ammeter in the circuit and that will always give us our total current. So measuring the current either right before or right after your power supply gives you the total current in the circuit. There are other things we can do. Uh, clicking on this changes it from the realistic look to the schematic where we see our symbols for our batteries. A line for wire. The resistor symbol is this sawtooth jagged edge. We have a symbol for a switch, but I can go back to um, the lifelike look. Uh, also over here we have different things that we can put in. We're not really using any of those today, but uh, you can explore some of that. Um, on the advanced side, on this side of the screen, we want to set our wire resistivity to tiny and our battery's resistivity to tiny. 
and uh, that way we're not adding in any resistance of the those elements so the batteries and the wire don't have resistance only light bulbs and resistors will have resistance <laughs>